Today I'm working on a business portrait. As you can see, my assistant is in the way. I don't like the parking lot. My client is gone. How do I fix this? Stay tuned. Hey, I'm Chris McNish, content creator for Sweet Gap Incorporated, where we provide solutions using content creation to tell your story. Before I go any further, remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell if you wanna be notified when I post more content. Before I start, I just wanna say that I'm going to show you my approach to fixing this image. Art in Photoshop is subjective and there are many ways you can skin a cat this is the way that I do it. Normally I would fix the surrounding areas first, but for the sake of the video, I retouch my subject. Her name is Bria, she's a personal trainer, and I will leave her information in the description. All right, so let's open up Photoshop. And as you can see, my assistant is in the way here, so I need to get them out. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm going to duplicate the layer by pressing Command J. And Command J allowed me to duplicate the layer here. The first, uh, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna select the clone stamp tool. See that right there? Or I can press the short key, which is S. And from about maybe, let's say from about here to here, I'm just gonna take this out. So I'm just gonna, Press down on the option button here, select an area, and I'm just gonna take this out. Let me make that brush a little bit bigger. Make sure that your opacity is at 100 and your flow is at 100. And I'm just gonna take this out just like that. Just like that. I can go a little bit further, but I think I got it. I think that's good enough for me. So I'm just leave that area here. The next thing that I'm going to do is that I'm going to select the marquee tool and the marquee tool, the short key for it is uh, the letter M on your keyboard, or you can go to the marquee tool right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area and I'm not gonna go to half of where Bria is, but half of the sidewalk. It'll make sense once I do it. So it made my selection here. I'm gonna press Command J. Not sure what it is for the PC, but I'll make sure that I put the short keys in there for you. And then I'm gonna go to image. No, I'm gonna go to edit. Transform, then go all the way down to flip horizontal, just like that. And then I'm going to select my move tool, which is right here, or you can press the letter V. Always important to learn your shortcuts because it makes your workflow a lot easier. So I'm going to bring this over here, just like that. Now, this looks weird. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring down the opacity so I can see where everything is. And what I'm all I'm doing is I'm making sure I'm going to press my the left arrow as I move my image that I duplicated to the left until it makes sense. Okay. And I'm just looking for symmetry right here. Just looking for symmetry. You see that there? And what I'll do, looking for symmetry. So I'm gonna bring this over a little bit more. Until it looks like I, it looks like an actual sidewalk, okay? So now, I know I'm not gonna leave it like this, so what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna create a mask, okay? So as you can see here, it created, it created a mask for me. So 
I don't want the mass in, in order for this picture to disappear. I'm going to have to invert this mass in order to do that. You press command I and it completely disappeared. Okay. So as you can see here, my mask is black. And in order to bring my image on, I have to make my brush white. So I'll select, I will select my brush. I press the letter B. And as you can see here, it shows me that my brush is white. If I wanted to make it black, I can select X and it'll switch it from white to black, but I want to make it white. Okay. Make my brush a little bit bigger there. And so this is what the mask can do. And let's start coloring. Oh, sorry. Make your opacity 100 and let's get it. So now I'm able to get rid of my assistant and I'm able to get rid of the parking lot right there. Make my brush a little smaller and I'm going to get rid of this parking lot. Yep, right there. Close that in. Just like that. And if you can see here, um, and you probably won't be able to tell it, you, you think it'll be on purpose looking at it for the, the first time. But if you see that you made a selection and you want to take it back out, so what you would do is in order to bring it on, you use the white, but in order to take it away, use the black. So make your black brush. And just this area right here is bothering me a little bit. So I'm just gonna, yeah, right there. Fill that in and see, I've gone, I've gone too much. So I'll make it black and then I'll zoom in. So I know exactly what I'm looking at. I'll zoom in, pick my brush and I'll just bring it back in. Just like that. It's good to have a photographer who definitely does his own retouch or has a retoucher that can fix that problem. That parking lot was really bothering me. So I had to figure out a way to make this look good and see this right here. I don't know if I need to take it away or not, but yeah, and we took that away just like that. And I don't want to go too much into detail about, you know, being OCD like this looks too symmetrical, right? Right there. So what I would probably do is bring some of this, make this tree, make a little bit bigger, make this tree right here a little bit different from this tree. So get my brush and I'll just take some stuff out. So this doesn't look too identical. See, so this tree doesn't look like this tree. I'll probably bring some of this back. So it doesn't look identical. So it looks like you copied and paste. So it looks different. So it seems that it seems that it, it looks a little different. And if there's anything that's too symmetrical that might give it away, then that's something that you can do. So I'll click on the, t I'll toggle off and on. That's before, that's after. We got before and we got after. And then I think that looks good. So we'll toggle off and after. And the reason that I toggle is because I want to make sure if there's something that I see that kind of stands out. So if you look at this, if you look at this tree right here, that that's bothering me a little bit. 
So I'm just gonna zoom in, go to that tree, I'll toggle off and on. And I think I like this better than that. So I wanna bring this back in. So I'm gonna undo, sorry. Switch my brush and then just bring that back in. The details, the details. Uh, that looks a lot better to me. Toggle on and toggle off. There you have it. It's important to find a photographer that can solve problems for you. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the like button. And if you want to see more videos, subscribe to my page. Click that notification button and don't forget to leave a comment.